Hello friends, my name is Ryan Topher and today we are going to be telling another movie theater bathroom story. Well not we, I'm going to be telling you the story. That's how, that's how this goes. Alright, let's establish one thing. Bathroom stories are the funniest stories. Yeah, any story you got, if it's in a bathroom, it's way more funny. You know that story that you have about the dirt bike and the seal? In a bathroom, it would be way funnier. But why is this? Why are bathrooms so much funnier than anywhere else in the world? Well, today we're gonna find out because public bathrooms are where magic happens. Not, not that magic. Not, not the kind of magic you're thinking of, you sick f I have so many public bathroom stories, you'd think I was crazy. Anyway, enough about this philosophy of the bathroom. Let's begin our story. So, as every story begins, I was in the public bathroom at the movie theater that I worked at. And, as every story goes, I'm just cleaning. Cleaning the mess that you made. You, America. And there, there's water everywhere in the bathroom at the movie theater all the time. There is never a dry spot in the bathroom. Oh, you think there's a dry spot and you get really happy and you touch it and it's filthy. There's water everywhere. Well, you know, it was probably pee. I just had to tell myself that it was water so that I didn't hate my life. And the girls' restroom is probably different. There's probably like a couch in there or something. You guys got like flat screen TVs? Well, we have piss on the walls. Anyway, so I'm at the counter cleaning and suddenly this guy walks in. Completely normal guy. Nothing of interest. I'm kind of doing my job looking down, look up through the mirror, eye contact. Maybe we had a moment through the reflection. Well, if we did not have a moment, we were about to. So this guy says something like, whoa, those counters are dirty. And I'm like, yeah, they are. You know how you go into the bathroom and things are not awkward and everyone just does their business and nothing extraordinary happens? Well, this was 100% going to be the opposite of that. Directly after speaking to me, not five seconds after we just exchanged words, he goes into the stall, sits down and just <laughs> Not even pooping yet. This was not the sound of the splashes. I heard no solids enter liquid. This man had a deep voiced banshee in his butthole. It was all air. You know how Superman can like blow things really powerful with his mouth? Well, this guy had that, but it was on his anus. <laughs> And that is not even the height of the story. I just wanted to emphasize his insane farts directly after speaking words to me and knew I was still there. This guy could probably fart the alphabet. <laughs> so anyway, his screaming butt reminded me that I had to take a seat and do some of my own business. So I went into the stall next to him, but for some reason I did this quiet as a bug. Not a noisy bug, a quiet bug. Not one of those buzzers, no. I was like a, an ant with wings. Not with wings, scratch that, I was walking. I don't think he thought I was in there anymore. I was so freaking quiet. I have never controlled the muscles of my feet so well in my whole existence. So he starts finally dropping his dumps, but uncontrollably. I'm sorry, I'm emphasizing so many details that don't need to be emphasized at all. I just really want you to be able to tune into the experience. Anyway, he's dropping his dumps uncontrollably. I swear, at first I thought this guy was developing a new tap dance routine because his legs were just flying. Either that or this is Michael J. Fox and I need to get his autograph on under the stall. I'm gonna scratch that one off my list. I should definitely cut that out. That was a weird burp. So this man's poop possessed body calms down a little bit and he's just sitting there and it's quiet and he is seemingly alone. So what do you do when you're in the bathroom alone and it's quiet? Maybe you don't like the silence or something? It stresses you out, it's too quiet, I don't know. <coughs> this guy starts boxing a sick beat. He's getting into it, spit is flying. How do I know this? Because you can see a little bit of the floor under the stall next to you and I see dribbles. Dribbles of spit on the ground. That's gross. W which would have been a safety hazard if he was still adding moves to his tap dance routine. Or if he was Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Anyway, he's getting into his beat even more, which I didn't think was possible, it was so intense. <laughs> what do you do when the person in the stall next to you is beatboxing? Again, another situation I've never been in before. This was the first time for me. Well, the only logic I know in a situation like that is that two sick nasty beats are better than one. So I start doing my own thing and adding a background beat to the main one. I'm like, and the guy stops immediately. <laughs> I didn't know if I scared him or if he was just embarrassed. Either way, I wanted to show him that it was okay and that he was in a safe place. So I started up my beat again. <laughs> that wasn't the beatboxing. And sure enough, he started again. So once we're going back and forth for a couple of seconds, feeding off each other's sick, nasty energy beats, shit gets crazy and he starts making crazy noises. <laughs> It was a freaking festival in there. I think at one point he was like, Ugh. he was doing that too. But I think at one point he was like knocking on the walls and like using the toilet paper as like a 
thing. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what would have happened if someone else came in. I personally think they would have felt the energy in the room and like joined along. And we would have had like an orchestra of sick beats. So things died down and I finished my business and I wanted to go wash my hands and leave. But this man just so happens to finish his business as I'm washing my hands. You know that awkward feeling of wanting to leave a restroom as quickly as possible after you've just murdered a toilet and people are still in the stalls? Yeah, I had no sense of that feeling in me. Why? Because magic had just happened and I was on a complete level of comfortability with this stranger. We had just made a beautiful baby of beats. Like, <laughs> forget that, forget I just did whatever that was. So what do we do? What is going to happen? Will he realize that I'm the guy that heard his ass banshee fart screams? Well, my friends, words were not necessary after a beat sesh like that. This man comes beside me and washes his hands like absolutely nothing happened. We are washing our hands in a complete normal world at this point. I don't know when I stepped back from Wonderland back into the movie theater bathroom. But wait, that's not all. What happened next topped off this crazy encounter with a cherry of greatness. <laughs> we both finished washing our hands and we walk out of the bathroom, him behind me, I hold the door, he says thank you. Another moment, more moments than I have with most, most humans. And he starts to head back to his movie. But as he heads into his theater, this guy starts busting up laughing. He could not hold it together anymore. It all settled in and he realized what just happened. I only heard a slight howl of laughter as this guy went into the theater and the door closed, but it really topped it off and it was actually kind of fulfilling, which is weird. It was so funny, I went and told all my coworkers. So that's my story, another crazy movie theater bathroom story. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments your own crazy bathroom experiences and don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Wow!